everybody. So I know everyone's really tired because it's all the end of the day, and we're literally one presentation away from all falling asleep. So let's do a quick exercise. Can everyone raise your right hand to the ceiling? Yeah. Raise your left hand to the ceiling. Touch your nose. Do a back handspring. Thank you guys. Hello, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Alex Trection and I'm the CEO of Soul Shoes. So, what we do is that we're making a shoe that you has, uh, that's both patented and designed by us that allows for uh, interchangeable clips on the sole of the shoe so you can play multiple sports with only one shoe. Our mission is to provide a cost-effective, competitive, versatile sports shoe for all athletes that is both convenient and reliable. Our vision is simply providing a premier shoe for athletes in order to keep their focus on the game instead of equipment. So this doesn't happen to you. Our business structure is very traditional and um, I'd like to pass it on to our marketing team to further develop our product and our strategies. My name is Eliseo. Our product is um, for It's a shoe, a, a premier athletic shoe with interchangeable bases. The bottom of the shoe will have a total of eight hooks um, separated evenly, so the base is in place. If you want, if you want to play another sport, all you need is to press the button on the side of the shoe and put in the the clip on that you want. We will have a total of ten different athletic shoe options. We're going to have a high top version of our product and a low top version. The high top version could be used for three different sports and the low top version for ten different sports. In total, we will have five different clip-on bases that each have multiple uses. The shoe will come in a variety of cool colors and here's my partner in marketing. Thank you. So we're going to outsource our, our uh, production to China. 
Uh, the cost at uh, the startup cost is going to be relatively high at the beginning because we're not we're going to have a low volume of production. But as our volume goes up, our costs are going to go down. Uh, for example, year one to year three, we will produce uh, six and a half times as many uh, as many units. We will also implement quality control that will ensure a long-lasting, high-quality shoe. The cost of one base is fifteen dollars, and one and one clip-on is five dollars to make. For shipping, we're going to go from China, uh, manufacturer to California, a central distribution center, and then on to our retailers. And here's Ruben with HR. Hi, I'm Ruben, and as head of HR, I would like to make our employees feel comfortable and engaged in the working environment that Seoul provides. At Seoul, we are very open-minded. However, we have certain standards set for each of our employees. Seoul has written policies for hiring, firing, and federal employee regulations. We also include a full list of programs to encourage <coughs> employee retention, such as stock options. For the first year, we will, for executive employees, provide fifty thousand a year. As prices, I mean, as profits go up, our salaries shall increase as well. We would like to employ. We would like employees to have degrees in. Economics, business, and foreign affairs. At Seoul, we value loyalty, honesty, creativity, and most of all, passion towards our company. As a new startup business in the Bay Area, we like to provide shoes for young athletes who are either less fortunate and can't afford them. And now, with Maggie for fun. Hi, my name is Maggie, and I'm the CFO. So, um, our company projects that we will need 1.2 million dollars for startup funds. Um, we plan to get this money from Trisha, who is an experienced entrepreneur and a valuable part of our team. Um, so in, the six, in our first six months, we will be in a startup period. And then um, after that, we plan to make $1 million in our first year of sales. Um, as we ramp up production in the next three years, we plan to make um, $10 million in sales by the end of our third year. At the end of our first year, we project that we will have $200,000 worth of losses, but as we increase um, our, and expand our company to nationwide, we expect to make up these losses and have a $3.3 million total income by the end of our third year. Um, looking to the future, we expect that most of our profits will come from the sale of the clip-on accessory rather than just the shoe. Um, and now back to Adam. Thank you. So in the end, we're producing a shoe that's very cost-effective and convenient for athletes. So for example, for each season, if a not taking place multiple sports, you need to buy a pair of shoes for each sport. But for our shoe, you buy one base with a free clip-on, and then you just buy the two additional clip-ons. And for the shoe, you just have to keep buying additional clip-ons instead of buying a new shoe every season. Um, also, our product is a need and not really a want, because Athletes need shoes to do what they do best. Also, the market for shoes is global, so it's not gonna die down very slim. So, our company is gonna produce a very good quality shoe and provide... One shoe for every passion! Thank you very much.